Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, thanks everybody for attending. Today we're going to talk about a topic that's been on a lot of people's minds. Sorry about that, someone's trying to call me. Um, a lot of people's minds lately, which is how to optimize your direct booking strategy. And today I'm super be super excited to be joined by Monique from Future Stay, which is an awesome PMS in the short term rental space. And I'll let her kick it off and just give a little intro about the background of Future Stay. Great. Thanks, Arthur. Um, hey, everyone. Apologize for not being live with my camera on. I was having some spotty internet issues, unfortunately, um, but happy to be here with everyone today. Um, so just to give you a high level overview about Future Stay, if you're not familiar with us, um, we launched back in 2015 um, and we launch ourselves to empower independent managers and homeowners um, with all the tools they need to grow, uh, to build and grow a short, a successful short-term rental business, um, and obviously to make more money and save time. Um, what makes Future Stay um, unique in in the short-term rental industry and in the marketplace is that we are uniquely positioned and created and built for small businesses, entrepreneurs, and the hobbyist hosts and hobbyist hosts, and that's actually what makes up a really significant portion of, of the industry today and continuing to grow it's about 70 percent and we continue to see more and more people enter the space as they realize the opportunity to make a life-changing business out of um, either buying a property renting it or even renting out their homes that they're currently in now so um we're able to oh, oops sorry <laughs> not quite done uh Sorry. offer powerful automations that eliminate all those uh, manual tasks that Oftentimes, um, when, it, when it's an individual property man, manager, it's not always their full-time job. So they're multitasking with their full-time thing and they have a lot of manual tasks that they need to take care of. So our platform really helps to eliminate um, a lot of that manual work and um, put some powerful automations in place. Um, we are uh, integrated and partnered with some of the leading you know, uh, partners and companies in the space, StayFi being one of them. Um, and it gives, what that allows us to do, to do is give the, the resources and tools that um, that typically larger property management companies have the access to, but we're able to provide those tools and resources to, to the smaller independent managers to be able to level the playing field for them and give them an opportunity to really grow and professionalize their business. And with that, I will let Arthur uh, take you guys through StayFi. Yeah, so just a little background on StayFi. We were founded in 2018. And the mission of StayFi is to help short-term rental operators of all sizes to become less dependent on OTAs. And the core way we do that is through guest data collection. So we want to enable our customers to collect information from every guest, booker, as well as everybody else staying in a short-term rental, uh, enable them to collect data like email, name, phone number, and help our rental managers or rental operators market to all the guests that are staying in their rental properties to build a really strong repeat direct booking business. And Future Stay is just one of the many partners that we work with. And we love partners that help our folks have great direct booking websites, which is what we're going to really be diving into today, because having a great brand and direct booking website is what's going to enable short term rental operators of all sizes to capture more direct bookings and drive repeat business to their own branded website. So today's agenda number one kicking off, I think one of the most important pieces of building a brand and direct booking website is you know the tools that you're going to need to do that and future state is going to walk us through how their direct booking tool works and how you can create amazing branded websites to drive both new traffic as well as repeat guests through uh, to kind of reduce your dependence on OTAs. And then we're gonna cover not just how StayFi helps rental operators collect guest data, but other ways to collect valuable information from both prospective guests as well as uh, existing guests in your properties to drive those bookings and then go over some really great tactics especially for people who are just starting out from, uh, with email marketing, but how you can implement a few things that are really going to kickstart that direct book engine of driving repeat traffic to your website to get more bookings. So I'll hand it over to Monique that will cover the future stay uh, website building tool. Great. Thanks, Arthur. Um, so before we dive in, I just, I want I kind of wanted to set the stage and give a little background around, you know, why, why having a direct booking website is so important and some, some interesting data points that we learned from a recent uh, survey 
um, called the Say the Short-Term Rental Community Report that was actually conducted by one of our other partners, Rent Responsibly, as well um, as College of Charleston. So they surveyed um, nearly 4,600 short-term rental owners and operators in the space and discovered that less than 25% of them actually use a direct booking site to advertise their properties. So you can see a lot of people have their, their properties on, on the big OTAs that everyone's familiar with, Verbo, Airbnb, some on booking.com, and then some on other OTAs. But the direct booking site channel is really being underutilized by a majority of, um, of the owner operators out there. So there's a ton of opportunity to um, you know, not only have your presence across all the OTAs, which we know is important to, to getting in front of the right guests, but it's important to have a holistic and balanced strategy of having the channel mix coupled with a direct booking strategy to really help professionalize your business and reach as many desirable guests as possible. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so why is a direct booking website important? Um, here we've just you know, clearly listed out some of the, the most key points, but it's about establishing a brand. Um, you can, you know, obviously it's commission-free bookings. Um, you have complete control over, over your business and the brand and how you present your properties. Um, it's a really great way to build trust and credibility, not only with your guests, but also within your communities. So that's something really important to, to note as well. It's a great way to partner with different um, local businesses, but it's just it's a good way to show your neighbors and your, your community that you're being a responsible host. Um, and then, of course, just being able to establish and execute rules on your own terms. So, you know, from the previous slide, as we saw, only 23% of owners have a direct booking website, but it's a really, really great way to have um, to have a site that helps you stand out from the crowded market and helps you really differentiate yourself. Next slide. So what do you need to get started with a direct booking website? Um, you know, you contrary to popular belief where you might feel like, oh, a website feels like something that I need to go to you know, computer engineering school for, that's not the case at all. You don't need to know how to write a single line of complicated code to do it, anyone can. And really the basic building blocks of what you need are at least a place for someone to discover your business, right? So that's what the donate, domain name is, example, myshorttermrental.com. Then you need someone that can host the website for you. Um, then a booking engine or a plugin, some way for people to actually be able to complete the booking and the reservation process. And then lastly, of course, a way for you to take payments. So a platform like FutureSay actually provides you all of those tools in a single place um, for you to be able to create a direct booking website, as well as connect it to everywhere else that your properties are listed and easily manage it from a single dashboard. So your website can be connected to all of your listings everywhere else and you have a single place to, to centralize that management. And even if you actually already have a site for your business, but you don't have a way to take bookings, you can still easily plug in a booking engine um, to be able to start doing that. Um, some other options also out there if you're looking to make your site even more customizable and you want to get a bit fancier with it um, beyond what a web builder and a platform like FutureStay offers, there's other sites like Wix and Weebly, which are really great website building tools that also offer booking plugins like FutureStay in their app marketplace to easily add on to take bookings directly. Uh, this is just a view into our, um, our easy to use drag and drop web builder in our platform. So you can see here, um, there's tools for um, SEO. That we support multiple currencies and languages. Uh, very easy to add and customize pages depending on what uh, parts of your business and your properties you want to showcase. showcase. Um, and then it's also already connected to Google Vacation Rentals. So that is uh, what we'll touch on, on the next slide here. Um, so another way to optimize your booking strategy is to be on Google Vacation Rentals. So this is a, another channel or another way to reach more travelers, um, to commission free bookings as well. It essentially puts your property as well as your brand on the map. And every future stay booking engine, every future stay dashboard is actually already connected to Google. So that's a huge, huge benefit. Um, we're one of the only um, rental software companies out there that can actually help the independent smaller managers get their properties onto Google Vacation Rentals. Um, you, otherwise you have to kind of be part of a larger um, property management company, but we enable it so that any, any property or homeowner with even just one can get, get listed on Google. Um, next slide. And then lastly, once you've built an amazing direct booking website, what do you do with that? How do you get people to, to visit? How do you get people to, to 
go to it. So number one, again, it goes back to having a really strong brand in the business, right? And you know, think about the Think about your website as your storefront, but also it's important to ensure that you're threading through your business name and and some of that branding throughout. So that includes, you know, mentioning what your business name is in your OTA listings, because that can help people kind of keep it top of mind and and you know do a little research on their own and perhaps discover you also discover your website directly that way. Um, Building a social media presence is super important, being able to tie that back to your website to, you know, to give people a kind of an aspirational view of, of what it would be like to come and stay at your property. So that's all part of, you know, building and marketing your direct booking site. Um, we mentioned Google Vacation Rentals on the previous slide. Um, partnering with your local businesses and, and um, your tourism bureau is also a really great way to get your site in front of um, not only potential travelers and guests, but maybe other businesses that want to align and partner with you to offer really great incentives for your traveler once they're coming to stay at your property. Um, and then, of course, you know, being able to remarket your website to your guests is really important. And this is where Stafi can come in to help you be able to do that. So with that, I will pass it off to uh, Arthur. Yeah, so obviously, once you have a great uh, direct booking site, you know, there's a lot of different tactics you can take to drive more traffic there in order to get more bookings. And I love the Google vacation rental tie in because obviously whenever you search on Google Maps uh, for accommodation, seeing those listings pop up is really valuable as well as billboarding on OTAs. Once you have a brand name, people may search your brand name after finding your listing on Verbo or Airbnb or another site. And obviously if you have a strong website, it's gonna appear as the number one search result when someone searches that brand. Uh, but then of course, other ways to drive uh, direct bookings, the number one source that we find is repeat bookings. Um, so that would be collecting guest data from guests that are already stayed in your properties, as well as some other ways that I'm gonna discuss here on additional sources of information where you can harvest valuable data to market to your guests or future guests. One really important way to capture more emails to do more marketing is on your own website. So once you have a strong website or driving traffic there, um, especially if you're paying for any traffic, whether that's doing search ads, social media ads, you're investing all this time and energy in driving traffic to your website. Uh, one way to monetize that traffic is to capture an email when they're on your website. So you've got them there. They may not book in that moment, but capturing an email will then extend the value of that traffic that you're driving to your site. Um, and so there's tons of different ways to capture emails on your website. And, you know, something like a give get is so I see a lot of people have success with. So you can imagine having a pop up on your website or a form that says, hey, if you submit your email, we will email you a guidebook or a discount code for, you know, $50 off a stay of X dollars or more. All of that are ways to incentivize folks to submit their email while they're on your website. And all the major email marketing tools, whether you want to use MailChimp, Constant Contact, Campaign Monitor, Active Campaign, they all have the ability to create these types of forms or pop-ups that are easy to place on a website to collect this information, as well as automate the response. So if you do want to give a promo code for the submission of an email, it's very easy within all those tools to then set up a responder email that gets sent out to that individual with the code or give get that you want to provide them uh, when you're on your, their, your website. Facebook groups is one I've seen a lot of, especially smaller uh, rental operators or owners of properties collect great high quality emails from. And that's through these rental by owners groups on Facebook, which there are many, usually by destination. And so if there isn't one for your destination, I highly recommend creating it. And these are groups where you can't uh, use OTA listings. Typically, you have to have a direct booking website, um, but people come there to find uh, ways to book directly with owners and people will supply their website or just collect an email from that individual in order to market to them in the future. And this is a, uh, you know, where you can find folks that are really at the bottom of the funnel on the booking journey since they have very high intent, intent to travel. And then obviously current guests are another great place to collect valuable information for remarketing. And as you know, most OTAs aren't going to provide you with the real emails of your guests for remarketing purposes. And those OTAs probably don't even know who the other 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 individuals staying in your property may be. And all of them are also potential valuable rebook of your property or properties. Um, so StayFi as a company, we provide the same type of captive Wi-Fi service you'd find in a airport, hotel, Starbucks, where when somebody joins the Wi-Fi, they have to submit their information before they can log on. So in the example here, which is just a generic StayFi brand on the left, this is what a splash screen would look like that greets a guest where you're collecting their name, email, and phone number and getting them to agree to be marketed to with a checkbox. And that way you're getting proper opt-in and consent from everybody staying in your properties to market to them in the future. Um, again, the splash page really reinforces your brand. So you can imagine if somebody does book your listing through Airbnb, typically they don't know the brand. They don't know who you are. They don't know that you are the reason why their stay is so amazing. It's not, you know, Airbnb doesn't manage the property you do. So again, this splash page can reinforce your own branding as well as collect that information. And then finally, after the guest submits, you can pick where to send them. So if you have a great website, like a future stay website, you can actually forward all the guests from the splash page after logging to your own website. So everybody then again gets reinforced with your own brand content. And if your website has great information about what to do in the area, recommendations, that's another way to help build that brand loyalty and transform the guest from being a quote unquote Airbnb guest to your own brand guest. Now I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about what to do with all these great emails that you're collecting, whether from your website, StayFi or another source, or maybe you still have some in your PMS from old bookings. How can you take this data and make the most value from it? And what we at StayFi recommend, especially for folks that are new to email marketing is to set up an automation. So you can imagine it can take a lot of time, energy, effort to create weekly, monthly newsletters sent to all your email subscribers. And when you're starting out, your list isn't gonna be that big. So a great way to get started in email marketing is something called an automation. Also some tools called a drip campaign. All the major email tools are gonna to have something like this. It's basically where you can set up a series of emails that gets sent automatically to every subscriber. So you can imagine spending a day or two setting up five, six, seven, eight emails sent over the course of six or seven months, you know, maybe every 15 or 30 days. And that way every subscriber that you capture will get sent a series of automated content without you having to you know, create new content every week or every month because you can set it once, forget it, and everyone is receiving this content over a period of weeks or months. Um, and it's a great way to get started with email marketing without having to commit to a ton of work since you kind of set it once and let it run over time. Uh, just some examples of what you can send in these emails. Uh, if you do happen to be capturing emails through a tool like StayFi, uh, you have to remember the welcome email or first message you would be sending in an automation is to the guest when they are staying in your property. So this is really an opportunity to welcome them to your brand. Again, differentiate yourself from the OTA, explain what your role is in the process, in their experience, hospitality experience, um, and then explain uh, or offer suggestions about what to do in the area and how to reach out to you directly for future bookings. Then you can schedule further emails, uh, maybe 10 days out or 15 days out, thanking them for staying with you, Again, reminding them maybe of your other properties in the area and opportunities to come book with you again. Uh, and then in 30 days, you could send another rebooking message. And in this particular example, they're featuring year-round activities that take place in this destination. Since an automation isn't going to be based on time of year, you can use the emails to kind of represent the, every season of your destination and different opportunities or reasons why uh, the guests should come back and revisit your destination. Uh, another tactic that we see a lot of our users have great success with is sending plain text emails within this automation series. Most people's emails are going to be a Gmail based inbox and you know within those inboxes we have different folders like the main general email as well as like a promotions folder. Um, a lot of times emails with pictures or a lot of discount oriented language will get flagged by Gmail as a promotion and go into the promotions folder, which are gonna have lower open rates. If you include in your series a plain text email, 
it's much more likely to go into the general inbox of Gmail or another email tool uh, where it's going to have a much higher open rate. And so when you write an email as part of your series that looks like, in this case, a one-to-one -one email, like Ryland is writing it to you organically, these are going to have much higher open rates and response rates. And I know in the case of this email, Rylan receives a lot of people who just reply back to him from the email directly saying, hey, I did love my stay. I plan on coming back in June. Can you help me? So again, they are facilitating that direct relationship with the guest through a plain text email, and you're much likely to see a much higher open rate and response rate with a plain text email as part of an automation series that includes both emails with kind of typical imagery and content, as well as some plain text emails, is the kind of best overall mix that we see from our StayFi customers. Um, some additional ways to market to guests uh, that we just added to StayFi, which is super exciting, is obviously email marketing has been a mainstay for years. Um, you know, you typically get between you know 10 and 30 percent open rates from emails. Uh, you get high subscribe rates, but another tool we see that's very popular with our users is SMS marketing, and now you can do that within StayFi. Um, SMS is kind of the flip of email marketing. So while email marketing, you might get a very high subscribe rate, you're going to get lower open rates and click-through rates. Text marketing has much lower subscribe rates, but the open read rates and click-through rates are much higher. Like, you know, 80 plus percent of SMS marketing messages end up getting read as opposed to, you know, 10% of email, 10 to 30% of emails. Uh, so with text marketing, you can get and reach basically all the subscribers and you can mirror whatever campaigns you're doing in email. So you can set up an automation series with text marketing as well within StayFi. Or if you're launching new properties or have a discount, you can use an SMS campaign to announce that to all your subscribers, and you're going to have very high open and read rates from those types of campaigns. And then if you get very sophisticated and you really want to double down on your remarketing and digital marketing, uh, custom audiences within Facebook and Instagram is a great way to push advertising to previous guests or people who have information from. So it's not, you know, people kind of sometimes get spooked out by digital marketing because you see, uh, you know, you visit a store online and suddenly you see those products appear in your own Facebook or Instagram feed. Those types of campaigns are actually relatively easy to launch uh, and use something called custom audiences or Facebook pixels within the Facebook ads tool. So to set this up, all you would do is make a Facebook ads account you would get something called a pixel. You load that pixel on your website, like a future stay website or on your StayFi splash page. And it's really easy to set up a campaign to market to everybody who visits those websites. Um, so that's a really easy way to get your, let's say you want to grow your Instagram following to make sure that when you do spend ad dollars on Instagram, you can target just people who have you know stayed with you or visited your, your website so they're already familiar with your brand and you're gonna get a lot higher engagement rates with those types of ads. If you have a lot of guest data and maybe just added a Facebook pixel and don't have a lot of history there, you can also upload all the emails you've ever collected to Facebook, create something called a custom audience and market to those groups of people. Um, so if you are interested in growing your Facebook and Instagram following, custom audiences and Facebook pixels are the best way to get high levels of engagement with your ads because you're targeting individuals that are already familiar with your brand or have stayed in your short-term rental property before. Um, part of StayFi, if you do need help with any marketing things like, oh, I don't know how to set up an email and I'd rather hire someone else to do it, we have a lot of partners in our marketplace that offer discounts off email marketing, digital marketing, website building. So if you do happen to want to access any of these partner promotions, you can become, you can create a StayFi account and these are available in there um, if you did want to hire somebody for any of those things. Um, and then for everybody on this webinar, we do have a special promotion if you're interested in StayFi, which we will be emailing out after so you don't have to write these down. Uh, but we do have a promotion off uh, when you sign up for StayFi as well as a discount off all the hardware we sell and we'll be sending that out um, after the webinar in an email. If you're interested in learning more, you can also contact Oliver here for a demo and we'll have that information as well for everybody who registered or attended today. Uh, now I'm happy to open it up for Q&A. Um, so feel free to write your questions in the Q&A box 
if you have any, and we, you know, Monique or I will be happy to answer uh, any questions that you guys have today. Or if you don't have any questions, I'm happy just to wrap up today. As Monique, is there anything else you wanted to say uh, while we still have everyone here? Uh, no, I, I hope everyone found this helpful. I guess we did such a good job explaining everything that there are no questions. But again, um, we'll also be reaching out directly to anyone that um, attended today as well as registered. Um, if anyone um, is welcome to do, we will offer you guys personalized demos with, in future stay and um, white glove service to help you create your website as well with us. Um, so that you can couple StayFi and Future Stay together to really grow and optimize your direct booking business. Uh, but thank you to everyone for joining and hope hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, so we'll, I know some people joined late, so we'll be sending out the full recording as well as contact information for uh, Monique and myself. Oh, we do have oh, one looks, question. Yes. <laughs> so Angela, you know, feel free to write it in here. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks for attending. Oh, I guess she her question, Monique, is around um, how you guys charge your customers or what your pricing model was. Yeah. So um, there's no charge to create your account. There's no onboarding or setup fee, and we just we work off of a um, performance based model. So it's a five percent markup that gets. Um, incorporated into your nightly rate. So say before future stay, you were charging $100 a night with future stay that becomes the 105. Um, and we actually were partnered with sites like Airbnb, Verbo, and Booking.com. So we make it very easy for you to distribute your properties across the board and have a seamless, um, a single place to manage everything, as well as powering your direct booking website. So think of it as the, the hub for your business, right? Um, but again, we, um, you know, we make money when you make money. So your success um, you know, we're obviously want you guys to be successful, but to start out, there's nothing that you have to pay up front um, to start with us. It's very easy to get set up. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. And we'll send out the recording. And yeah, thanks for attending and have a good rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you, everyone.